Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for the week of February 6th. We're going to take a look at your past, present, future energies when it comes to love. We're also going to tap into uh, your person's energies. So what are their thoughts, feelings, and what is the outcome that they desire with you on this connection? So stick with me till the end. Lots coming in. And if this video resonates with you, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, Aries, let's uh, dive into your cards. Let's see what is past, present, future energy around you. Okay, one card for the past. We've got the Ten of Swords. Uh, okay, so difficult ending, Aries, in the recent past. You're now very focused perhaps on work uh, or just working through this ending. And in the near future, I see you stepping into your power with the King of Wands, which is your energy, Aries. Um, you're taking back control. You are the captain of your ship, so to speak, um, and you're really sort of bossing up and leveling up. This could be that you're focused um, quite a lot on work and you see success at work and you're maybe just intentionally not focusing too much on your love life. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Seven of Swords. Interestingly, Capricorn had the same uh, card at the bottom of the deck or it definitely showed up a couple of times in their spread. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn, so you might want to take a look at their reading as well. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. Let's see um, what is this Ten of Swords. What is this Ten of Swords? Three of Wands. Um, this could be just distance between you and a person. You know, because of this difficult ending, it's created a lot of emotional distance between the two of you. Or you could have been in a long distance connection and something has come to an end. What's the Eight of Pentacles? justice uh yeah i think you're focusing on um if you have any legal matters to take care of i think aries you're quite focused on on that or you're just thinking about bringing balance back into your life maybe you were giving too much in your personal life and not focusing too much on work so you're trying to like tip the scales in the favor of work or in general i think you're seeking something very balanced and very fair when it comes to love What's the King of Wands? You've got the Four of Cups. Hmm. I think you're stepping into your power. You're focusing on bossing up at work because in love, when it comes to your emotions and the offers that have come your way, you're not really interested. Uh, you're still thinking about maybe somebody from the past and maybe you feel it was a missed opportunity. But there's something that's not quite, um, you know, getting you excited. Okay, let's, uh, and we've got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Aries, for some reason, I'm getting that a lot of you are just focused on work and getting success at work. And maybe you're working on a project that's taking a lot out of you and you just want to see it come through. Let's look at your person. So the person on your mind, this could be somebody that you recently ended things with. This could be a new person or in general, if you're manifesting a soulmate, let's see who this person is. Four of Swords, um, I do think this is somebody that you're not in contact with, uh, somebody that you've split ways with, you're in separation with, because the Four of Swords can definitely indicate a no contact situation. So for a lot of you, I think this is somebody from the past. What are their thoughts? I think they're trying to come up with a decision. They're also trying to get clear as to which way they want to either proceed with this connection or just drop it completely what are their emotions hmm they're also healing through this ending through this ten of swords this was uh maybe some of them didn't see it coming and it felt like uh, quite the betrayal or maybe something did happen in this connection that betrayed trust um so i think i definitely see them pondering over this ending as well what is the outcome that they desire with you aries they want to heal this the temperance card they definitely want to bring balance back into the situation. They want to heal this connection with you. They want to make sure that uh, this can be brought back into a positive state. And they've got Ace of Wands at the bottom of their deck. So absolutely, they're looking for a new beginning, a brand new start. They want to start something new. They want to communicate with you on this brand new beginning because they've been really anxious about this ending and they're not happy. And I think it's become very clear to them that without you, um, you know, they're just not enjoying life. They're feeling pretty anxious. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Um, and we'll pull some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle and then we'll go back to the tarot and see what will be your person's next actions or next steps on this connection and what will be your next steps as well. So stick with me till the end, Aries. We've got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So maybe 
there was like a certain topic or an issue that became like a bone of contention for this connection and spirit is asking you to just release control and allow it to just happen naturally and maybe that's what you're doing like you're focused on work you're doing what you have to do and now this person is realizing your value realizing that they really are not happy without you in their life okay reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so i definitely i don't think i need to explain that that's uh, very very clear and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and for some of you that have absolutely put an end to the past and you're dating or you're meeting new people just keep an open mind codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life this could be the reason why you decided to part ways from your past okay so let's clear this spread out and we're going to go into your person's actions towards this connection what are they going to do uh, what energy can you expect from them and then we'll also tap into your energies and see what is it that you are going to do so let's look at your person this is the person on your mind what are their actions i'm going to pull five cards so we've got the lovers okay we've got hermit the chariot wow pulling all major arcana so big changes queen of swords and the hanged man Hmm. and they've got the nine of swords again at the bottom of the deck so i think this is somebody who is very very anxious about this ending the separation they think that you are their divine counterpart and they feel like you know you're sort of divinely destined to be together and they've gotten this wisdom by going inwards with this hermit energy they've spent a lot of time by themselves maybe you guys haven't spoken in a few months um maybe some of you haven't spoken properly since september last year and they're figuring out how to bring back momentum into this connection and how to make this work again and that's the communication or the conversation that they want to have with you they want to so like you see how her sword is completely upright so they don't want to mince their words this time around they want to come out super clear they want to tell you what they've learned in this hermiting period what uh, enlightenment has come to be with this hanged man um, and they've looked at this connection from a different perspective maybe they've finally now get it what you were trying to explain to them and what perhaps has been missing in this connection or what they need to do to make this connection work again okay so let's look at your energy aries so when this happens let's see what your energies are going to be or how you respond to this the six of pentacles the four of swords the queen of swords so both of you are mirroring each other the knight of swords and the page of pentacles interesting so i think you've also had a lot of aha moments a lot of a lot of epiphanies when you've taken a step back from the situation as well with the four of swords i mean and so have they right like we saw the hermit in their energy and what has happened in this time apart is that you've really reflected on where the situation was out of balance uh where you needed to put in more effort where they needed to put in more effort and you also want to have a very clear cut kind of conversation like once and for all here is the truth not mincing my words this is what i need to make this connection work this doesn't work for me this works for me but i'll just give you one like you know um just be conscious of like not always referring to the past or not taking any hasty decisions because the knight of swords moves very very fast but a lot of times he regrets his decisions later on so if you're jumping to any conclusions aries i think um you'll be better off just taking some time to reflect and also when you do have this conversation with your person uh it'll be good to not constantly referring things from the past like you need to also learn how to let some things go because they've had a different perspective on this they've found uh, their own truth as well about this connection which i think they're very keen to express to you so hear them out and don't keep bringing up things from the past or oh, like this didn't work out or you did this you said this but you did this you know i think if this connection has to work you have to start like right from scratch you have to forget about what happened you have to let go you have to forgive them you have to forgive yourself and really begin again like this page of pentacles the page of pentacles basically um starts from scratch you know and sort of works his way upwards 
So that's what I'm getting, Aries. I think if you want this to work, you will need to let go of the past and give this person a fair shot and really see how you can build for the future. Let's get you some advice from the universe. What is the universe's advice on this connection for you, Aries? The Queen of Cups, I think this person has a lot of genuine emotion and affection for you. It's been really hard, this ending. I think um, you really need to figure out, uh, yeah, maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see, Seven of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. And you got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So communication is a big, a big theme, right? And clear communication, being honest, being vulnerable will be very important to the success of this connection. I think your advice here, Aries, from your spirit team is that really examine what was toxic about this connection and where were you maybe being defensive or where was the other person being defensive it could be that you are carrying some self-limiting beliefs from uh, your past relationships you know maybe people have made you feel isolated or left you out in the cold and that's why you push people away because you don't want to be hurt or this could be your person's story that maybe they push people away because they're too scared that if they let people in then they have the ability to hurt them because otherwise i think this cycle of ending and beginning might continue so this time around when you guys have this really clear-cut communication with the queen of swords you really need to address what is the toxic pattern in this connection who is being defensive and why or maybe both of you are being defensive about something maybe some of you are quite scared of maybe some somebody has abandonment issues something that someone learned in their childhood that if they let people in then they generally tend to you know walk away and that's very painful um but there is genuine emotion here so i think if you operate from a place of love that might be pretty beneficial for this connection okay um let me see overall what can you look forward to in the future when it comes to love so this could be obviously beyond the week of february 6th what's coming in for Aries, what can they look forward to in love. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, so a very stable offer, might take some time to develop, but you know, slow and steady wins the race. Um, so this could be, uh, again, I'm getting this vibe that you're dealing with an Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody wants to come in, but this time around, they want to take it slow. Um, yeah, they want to put in the effort and see what it results into. And then you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I think it'll be a connection where you have a lot of space and you allow your partner a lot of space as well so that you'll still have your independence, but um, you'll be in a beautiful connection. Or the other storyline that I'm getting is for some of you, you might actually decide that, okay, I have contemplated on this connection and I feel um, it's not going to give me what I want. So therefore, I'm just going to go my own way. I'm going to try and be single for, for a little bit of time. So it could go that way for some of you as well. So that's, so that's what I have for you, Aries. Uh, I hope this video helped or it resonated. Uh, if it did, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.